On today's episode, we build an entire bass fishing tackle box with all of the essentials for under $100. We also recap the Bassmaster Elite Series event at Lake Champlain, and we take a look at a brand new finesse lure from Z-Man. All that and more in this episode of Tackle Talk. Hello everybody, I'm Bill Dance, and you're listening to Tackle Talk. Welcome to the Tackle Talk Podcast, brought to you by American Legacy Fishing and Outdoors, world-class fishing gear, unmatched personal service. Now, here's your host, Andrew Hayes. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Tackle Talk. We have a jam-packed show for you guys today. We'll get into all of it in just a second, but first, we are brought to you as always by American Legacy Fishing and Outdoors. If you're not hip to American Legacy Fishing yet, I highly recommend you check them out. They have a giant selection of all of your favorite brands, uh, really nice high-end brands too. They got G. Loomis, Shimano, Dobbins, St. Croix, Daiwa, Luz, a ton more, and they have a huge selection as always, and they're great about keeping it stocked. They have fast shipping, but their really standout feature of American Legacy Fishing is their customer service. One order through ALF and you will see very quickly why they have a cult following on the internet, why they have one of the most loyal fan bases on the entire web because they take care of their folks. A lot of you guys have got a chance to experience your first order with ALF over the past couple weeks and the messages that I've got are awesome. So I'm so glad that you guys are enjoying your experience with them. They're great dudes, great prices, great shipping, great service, great everything. Go check them out, www.americanlegacyfishing.com and they do still have their promo going on right now where if you take part in their trade-in program for July only they're going to boost your trades 10 to 15 percent when you trade in with them so when you get that quote back of whatever they're going to give you in credit that you can use on the store for your used gear it's going to be 10 to 15 percent higher than normal so they're boosting that for July only go over to the website click the big banner on the home page you'll get a quote for your gear you will be able to mail it in with a prepaid shipping label that ALF provides for you and you will get your store credit to be able to go shopping on American Legacy Fishing So go check them out, www.americanlegacyfishing.com. All right, let's get into the news here. The very first thing we have to talk about is as I'm recording this today, which is Sunday, the Bassmaster Elite Series at Lake Champlain just ended like 15 minutes ago. So we have the final results way in, just got over with, and they crown Brian Schmidt as your 2021 winner of the Blue Trophy at Lake Champlain. So it was kind of a nail biter too. It was very, very close. Um, I always love when they get into these uh, ones, you know, where you're just separated by ounces and you really don't know, right? You you can follow the bass track all day long and you can tell, you know, kind of where people are at, but those aren't always super uh, accurate. Accurate because the guys are just estimating the best they can on what their weight of their fish is and then they're kind of having somebody enter it and you know some people might sandbag it a little bit you know there's all kinds of strategies there uh, for the most part they're pretty good but you just never know until the fish finally hit the scale so today they went to weigh in Brian Schmidt comes out on top with 78 pounds and five ounces your top 10 consisted of Keith Combs in second Chris Zaldane finished third Seth Fighter finished fourth Austin Felix in fifth Destin Demarion sixth Patrick Walters in seventh, Lee Livesey is eighth, Caleb Summerall ninth, and Justin Hamner finished tenth. So your tenth place through your first place were separated by about five pounds, and you had let's see one, two, three, four guys that were in the seventy-six pound window there. So six through third place were separated by like twelve ounces. So a great event, um, smallmouth and largemouth both taken up to the scales and weighed in. But Brian Schmidt comes out on top with what I believe is his first Bassmaster Elite Series win. All right, let's get into a quick new tackle alert here. Z-Man has made an announcement that they're coming out with a new finesse lure. And I'll be real with you guys, when a lot of companies announce that they're going to have something new coming out, it's kind of like meh, right? Like Gamagatsu just came out and said they had some new products coming. And then when you find out what the new products are, it's like a line of tungsten weights and a storage bag. Like, I mean, if you're a a diehard Gamagatsu person, then maybe that's cool for you. But us normal anglers, I don't really get you know, jumping up and down excited about Gamagatsu coming out with their own line of tungsten weights and a zipper bag. But when Z-Man announces something, usually anyway, 
Uh, this is one of those brands that I tend to pay attention to. I tend to listen when they say, well, hey, we've got some new products coming out because whatever your thoughts are on Z-Man, they usually do put out some fairly unique and innovative stuff. And I will give them credit where credit is due for that. Obviously, the Chatterbait is kind of the big red flag there, right? The Chatterbait is maybe the most game-changing lure to come out in the past 20 years. Uh, they popularized the Ned Rig and all of its components. So, you know, the shrooms and all that kind of stuff, the TRD, that was all Z-Man as well so you got to give them credit there even though i think they may make the worst ned heads out there on the market that's a whole different conversation but at least you got to credit them with bringing it to the masses and kind of true small midwest finesse lures they really kind of took those nationwide um they also have a laztec which is their brand of soft plastic which is probably one of the only truly innovative things to come out with soft plastics in a long time uh so z-man can make some splashes with new products and this new product, when I finally saw it, it obviously kind of stands out as like, okay, this was the you know the the obvious next step for Z-Man when you had all of this popularity of the finesse fishing stuff. Their shroom heads, they now have like the the EWG weedless heads, the bullets, all that kind of stuff. That's these small kind of terminal tackle for us Midwest guys. Um, they're coming out with the new football Neds, and it's exactly what it sounds like. It's a Ned rig sized jig head and hook, but the jig head is not a mushroom head it's not a ball head it's a football head no skirt no you know anything crazy it is just a painted football head on a small hook now here's the thing about this you know where ned rigs usually kind of suck chunk rock ned rigs are usually not fantastic on big chunk rock because you tend to get snagged very easily right you're just kind of hopping it and you're just praying that it doesn't get lodged in one of the cracks on those big uh chunky rocks or the places where there's all of those crevices to fall in um also just the you know the overall shape of a shroom head is not kind of meant to be crawled or kind of scraped across rock right it's more of like a a hop and twitch kind of head so with a football head though a football head shines on chunk rock that is what foot Football head jigs and football heads were for, they are for dragging, digging, crawling over those big rocky bottoms. That's the name of the game with a football head. So you can attack those giant rock points for smallmouth now with this Ned uh, football head the same way that you target that big point for largemouth with a big football jig. It's rock by rock, it's scraping, it's dragging, it's really kind of crawling that football head over that rock. So pretty cool. I'm honestly surprised they waited this long to pull out the uh, you know the football head on the Ned Head style stuff, but uh, product innovation, and I'm saying that in air quotes, product innovation is a long game sometimes. So you don't come out with everything all at once. We've talked about this before. You really stair step it so that you can prolong the success Success of these lines of products. I get it. I understand that's how it works. So this is just kind of the natural next step in the Ned Head style things for Z-Man. They're coming out with these football Neds. They are supposed to come out this month. July 2021 is what it said. They come in 1-8th, 3-16th, and 1-4th ounce sizes, and it looks like the MSRP on them is going to be $5.99 for a three-pack. All right, we are going to get into our $100 tackle box build here in just a second. But first, speaking of tackle boxes, we have to talk about Dark Horse Tackle. Dark Horse Tackle, awesome company. The great guys over there, you've heard them, Jason and Josh. They came on the show a couple months ago and talked about kind of their journey to really trying to build up Dark Horse Tackle and be different than all the other subscription boxes out there. So the thing that Dark Horse Tackle does really, really well is they're scouring the internet and they're trying to find these small kind of mom and pop style brands that you've never heard of before but are making really good stuff and they're trying to put a lot of those cool brands you've never heard in one box and introduce you to these cool guys all at once and then you take a look and be like wow this is a very high quality crankbait this is a great jig this is hand tied hand painted uh good hooks i like this stuff and then you go get to seek out those companies and you get to support those companies and you know some of those may become your favorite jig maker your favorite square bill maker your favorite buzz bait maker might be some guy in his garage in idaho making lures that you've never heard of until you got it in your dark horse tackle box so go check them out go to www.darkhorsetackle.com click subscribe you'll see the different options there there's two or three different options you can use code tackle talk 30 regardless of which one you choose at checkout if you hit subscribe you pick your plan tackle talk 30 at checkout and you're going to save 30 percent off your first month's box just for being a loyal listener of the show we're going to pass the savings along to you guys 30 percent off your first box at www.darkhorsetackle.com 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is an episode I've wanted to do for a while. I've had the idea for a few months, but I'll be honest, I just had a tough time uh, actually executing on it and finding my kind of sweet spot there and being able to fit all of these in the price point that I wanted to get. So for a while now, I've had this concept in my head of, you know, how can I do uh, having X amount of dollars and do blank with it? So I know that sounds weird, but it's like, you know, in this instance, if I had $100, how would I build my tackle box? If I had $250. How would I build my all around, uh, you know, jig and Texas rig setup? If I had $1,000, how would I build my, you know, perfect kayak setup? Stuff like that. So, this is the very first kind of thing we're going to do with this. Um, it's a really cool idea if you're out there and you're really trying to put together a well rounded tackle box, but you don't have $1,000 to spend on building up your tackle. This box will do like 99% of bass fishing almost anywhere in the United States for under $100. So I had a hard time doing this because I would build this box, I would write it down, I would sit here and I'd you know spend 30 minutes or whatever and I would write down everything that I think should be in my tackle box. And then I would write down the exact kind of that thing that I would want in my tackle box, so like the brand and the color and stuff like that. And then I would go on a website and I would look and I would see what the actual price of that was. I'd add it all up and I would be like way off, either one way or the other. I'd be way over $100 or I'd be under $100, but then I'd look at my list and I'd be like, well, yeah, that's because you left out you know, eight things that need to be in your tackle box. So I finally got it down. I am under $100 on this list, and we are going to build, I think, probably the perfect either starter tackle box if you're really just getting into bass fishing and you want a good, well-rounded box, or on the flip side, if you're looking to build a box that you can just grab and take with you and fish and not have to worry about changing stuff out, or do I have a spinnerbait in here, do I have a football jig in here, do I have a chatterbait in here, stuff like that, if you don't want to think about that and you just want a day box to be able to pick up and take with you and fish almost anywhere, this box will do it. So for under $100, let's get into this, let's do our $100 tackle box build. The very first thing I'm going to assume here before we get to the first thing you're going to buy is that you have the tackle box. I didn't put in here that you need to buy, you know, like a 3700 tray or, you know, a folding tackle box or a Bass Mafia box or something. I'm assuming you have something to physically put the lures in. That could be the cheapest Bass Pro, you know, $3 box. That could be, like I said, all the way up to a big Bass Mafia box or something crazy. I'm assuming you have a vessel <laughs> to put your lures in. So the very first thing that we're going to add to this box are offset EWG worm hooks. Duh, right? You need offset EWG worm hooks. You need EWGs to be able to rig almost anything that I'm going to throw Texas rigged. So for right now, we're going to go with the Gamagatsu offset EWG worm hooks in black. They're $3.99 per pack. So $3.99, you've got your EWG hooks out of the way. I'd go with probably like a four-aught hook, just a, a, a universal hook that you could use to, you know, Texas rig worms, Texas rig crawls, Texas rig creature baits. This will get it taken care of. So Gamagatsu offset EWG worm hooks in black for $3.99 is our first item on this list. The second thing we're going to get, we are going to get wacky rig hooks. You're going to need hooks to be able to throw wacky rigs, to be able to throw Nico rigs, to be able to throw all kinds of stuff like that. You need some small circle hooks. So I'm going to go with the VMC Ike approved wacky hooks, and I will be 100% transparent with you. It is because they are some of the cheapest ones I found that look like they will stand up to the abuse. So this will work. The VMC Ike approved wacky rig hooks are 229 per pack and that will get you started if you need to throw anything wacky rigged or Nico rigged. The next thing we're going to get, we need tungsten. Obviously, you need tungsten. I'm going to go with a 3 8 ounce tactical, tung tactical tungsten, man, it's a tongue twister, 3 8 ounce tactical tungsten flipping weight for $7.99 for a three pack. I know it's expensive. I get it. Tungsten is one of those things, once you go tungsten, it is so hard to go back to lead. You can feel everything. 3 8 ounce will do a whole lot of stuff. You can flip with it. You can drag with it. You can do pretty much anything that you're going to need to do with a 3 8 ounce tungsten flipping weight. So a three pack of those, $7.99, we now have our EWG hooks, our wacky rig hooks, and tungsten. Next, we're going to go into the jigs. The two jigs that I think you really need to have. You need to have a football jig and you need to have a flipping jig. So the football jig, I'm going to go in a half ounce and the flipping jig, I'm going to go in three eighths ounce. I don't care what brand they are, right? I make my own jigs. I buy jigs from people. I've used a ton of great jigs out there. Jigmasters makes great jigs. 
Dirty Jigs, Bait Buffet. I like some smaller companies for my jigs. Uh, Cyber Outdoors makes good jigs. There's all kinds of folks that you can look to for good, high-quality jigs in that $3.99 range. But get a football jig, get a flipping jig. That football jig, like I said, I like that half ounce. I've gotten more and more comfortable with a half ounce instead of three eighths recently because you can just dig and drag so much better with it. And that's what you're doing with a football jig. You're not really flipping it, you know, and you need it to fall real gracefully or anything like that. I need this thing to be a bulldozer. I need this thing to kind of plow through rock or plow through whatever I'm dragging on. So a half ounce football jig, $3.99, and a three eighths ounce flipping jig for $3.99 will get you through most of your jig situations. Next, we are going to get lifted jigs peg stops, $1.79. Again, I went with one of the cheapest options I could find, but you need some peg stops or bobber stops or whatever you want to call them to be able to peg your weight if you are flipping in a situation where you don't want that weight to go all the way up your line. So really easy solution. Lifted jigs looks like they make them for $1.79 for a pack of peg stops. Next, I am going with brand specific on these next two things just because I fell in love with them. The very first thing you're going to need is you're going to need net heads. And the net head that I'm going to use is from our buddy over at Jigmasters. He has what he calls the perfected net head. And the one reason I am going to use this net head over others is because it has a screw lock. And I was one of those guys that I didn't use screw locks for a whole long time because they're a little bit more of a pain in the tail to rig, right? You don't just slide it up and then you're done. You really have to line it up and then you got to screw. But it's one of those things, once you screw that on, the thing with Ned rigs that really kind of upsets me is, you know, you get uh, one, two fish, something like that, especially if you're not using something really durable like an Elastec and you're just using a, you know, a cut up Bass Pro Senko or something like I do all the time. Once you catch a couple fish, that Senko is kind of toast, right? You have to put a new one on there because it just won't stay up on the bait keeper the solution to that is a screw lock so he makes great little ned heads with a screw lock on them and they're 349 per pack so a good price on them too and the second thing that he makes that i'm going to go specifically through him for is perfected swim bait sleds swim bait sleds another name for just a head that you would throw a swim bait on again the screw lock on this thing cannot be understated it will make your little swim bait last so much longer it won't fall down on the hook shank it just makes your life a whole lot easier once you get it rigged to be able to throw it out there and know that I can go fish the whole day on one swim bait pretty much unless you were you know around pike or something and they're biting the tail off so you need a swim bait head you need a ned head two options there 349 for the ned head and 399 for swim bait heads the next thing that we're going to get the original z-man chatterbait Nothing fancy here. We're on a $100 budget. We're not buying jackhammers. We're not buying the cross eyes. We're not buying, you know, the uh, the custom ones. We're buying the original Z-Man Chatterbait. And I've said it before. I'll say it again. That is like 99% of the Chatterbaits that I throw are just the regular $4.99 Chatterbaits. They do the job. They do have a good hook on them. They last. They don't rust super easily. They have a good skirt, right? They do everything that you need a Chatterbait to do. So for $4.99, you have to have a Chatterbait. I'm going 3 8 ounce on my Chatterbait as well, and I'm probably going to go with just Green Pumpkin. Just regular, normal Green Pumpkin Chatterbait. If you're around a bunch of stained water, you can't go wrong with Black and Blue too because you can always throw a Green Pumpkin trailer on it, and you're still fine. But get you a 3 8 ounce Z-Man Original Chatterbait. And then the very next thing we're going to need, you're going to need a square bill. Obviously, you need a square bill. This is one of those things, again, I'm going to go brand specific on these, the KVD 1.5 square bill. KVD 1.5 square bill is, I think, the best square bill you can buy. It's, we talked about it with, who was it we had on that we talked about the square bill with? Rudd? Alex Rudd. That's who we talked about with. Um, and we both agreed, right? It's one of the most consistent square bills out there in terms of movement, in terms of what it's doing under the water. It's just, it can't miss, right? You know what a 1.5 does under the water. You know it is not going to let you down. It is very, very consistent right out of the package. That's what I love about the 1.5s. So a 1.5 KVD square bill is $5.99. And then you're going to need something that goes a little bit deeper than a one point five obviously that's where we're going to get our deep diving crankbait and we are going to go with a rapala dt10 the rapala dt10 will go down obviously to 10 feet that's what dt stands for dives to 10 feet the rapala is 769 and it will handle most of the things that you're going to need it to handle like if you're cranking you know off of big points or you know offshore structures stuff like that uh, uh, getting down to 10 foot and you can get it down even a little bit deeper than 10 foot depending on what line you're throwing it on but this will handle most of your situations unless you're going into some just giant you know super deep quarries or stuff like that 
then you're going to need a little bit, you know, a heavier duty deep diving crankbait. But we're going for like most of your normal situations, right? Your lakes, your ponds, your rivers, stuff like that. A DT10 should do you just fine. So Rapala DT10 769 and we have our deep diving crankbait crossed off. Next thing, we're going to get into a little bit of top water here because we can't forget the top water. We've got most of our subsurface stuff with the exception of one that we'll get to in a second taken care of here. But now we're going to get into things that you need for on top of the water. So the very first thing, obviously you need a frog. When you think bass fishing, what do you think of? Soft, hollow body frogs getting smashed by giant four, five, six, seven, eight pound largemouth. That is bass fishing in a nutshell. So you need a hollow body frog. The hollow body frog I'm going to go with, just a regular booyah pad crasher. 699 durable does what you need it to collapses easy sharp hooks it's a great frog 699 your frog is taken care of next we are going to need a buzz bait and the buzz bait we're going to put in this box is the booyah clacking buzz bait three eighths ounce size and the one reason that we're using this one is because i actually really like the clacking buzz baits but two this is the buzz bait that i use all the time because it's so inexpensive they are 499 they get the job done they're great buzz baits so they come in all of your normal colors you can get all blacked out ones which are the ones i really like i like using just a straight black the white ones are great they have chartreuse ones they got everything that you can want but a booyah clack and buzz bait in three eighths ounce is going to be our buzz bait for 499 Next, you're going to need a popper, and I'm going to cheap out on the popper right here. This is one of those ones where I had to take a look at what I had on my shopping list here, and I had to cut money somewhere to be able to buy everything that I wanted to buy. So the Bass Pro Tourney Special Popper is the one we're going to go with here. And why? Because they do what they need to do, and they're $2.99. I have probably 30 of these in the garage that I use in the creeks, that I use in the rivers, that I catch smallmouth on day in and day out. You may have to change the hooks at some point. That's just the reality of a cheaper bait. But right out of the box, you can take this, you can go fish, and you can catch fish on a BPS Tourney Special Popper for $2.99. Next, we need a spook. We need a walking bait. We need something that we can walk the dog with. The Head and Zara spook is what you're going to go with here for $5.99. Again, does everything you need it to. Walks flawlessly. It has good hardware right out of the box. And again, something that just drives fish absolutely bonkers and you have to have in your box is some sort of walking bait. Head and does it great. The Head and Zara spook, we're going to pop in here for $5.99. Next, let's get into some soft plastics. We need soft plastics in this box. The first thing, obviously you need Senkos, but when we're on a budget, we're not buying real Senkos. We're buying Yum Dingers, the five inch green pumpkin Yum Dingers, 249. So we've got our worms. The next, we're gonna need a little bit more of a finesse worm, so we're gonna go with the Zoom Trick Worm for 489. Green Pumpkin Magic is my favorite color they make in the Zoom Trick Worms, but you can go with everything from June Bug, Watermelon, uh, the black ones, just straight black ones I use a lot of times too. But Zoom Trick Worms are a must in anybody's tackle bag. 489 for a giant pack of Zoom Trick Worms. I can't remember how many comes in them, but I want to say it's like 20 or something. Um, then we are going to need a swim bait, and the swim bait that I have fallen in love with in the past couple years, and I am okay with splurging just a tiny bit to make this budget work is the big joshy swim bait and the 3.25 inch version for 649 so you can cheap out on the the swim baits a little bit you could go with like an eco pro uh swimmer or you know a little rage swimmer or the knockoff rage swimmers whatever they call them from uh bass pro i think they're called speed shads so you can go you know a little bit cheaper on this if you want just a small kai tech style paddle tail but You know, if if I'm only going to get one version of a swim bait in here, if I can move some money around, which I did, I'm going to buy a pack of Big Joshies. So Big Joshie, 3.25 inch swim baits for $6.49. Next, you are going to need some sort of crawl and the most cost effective, best producing crawl that I have found in a long time. There's a couple different options here. I know there's some people that are going to argue with me and they're going to say like chigger crawl or something. I'm going with the Yum Christy crawl. Yum Christy Crawl, I think, just has the movement that you want from a crawl, where if you need a little bit more of an erratic action, you want something that is, I don't want to say Rage Crawl-esque, because it's not. It's not anywhere near a Rage Crawl, but something that will give you some flap that's not just kind of, you know, dead plastic back there and giving you profile, and you actually want something that's got a little bit more motion in it. Christy Crawls slept on a lot of times, but Christy Crawls are great little crawls. They make good trailers. You can Texas rig them with the EWG hooks that we bought. Like I said, you can put these on the back of your football jig that we bought, put it on the back of your flipping jig that we bought. But the Christy Crawls, I'm going to buy a pack of these for $2.99. 
We have two things left on this list. The next thing is a Berkeley Pit Boss. Uh, the soft plastics that I think are maybe some of the most underrated soft plastics out there. They're small profile, but they do have that flap that you want on more of a creature style bait. I like throwing these instead of beaver bait, so where a lot of my friends will throw a D-bomb or something like that, I'm going to throw a Berkeley Pit Boss. Four inch versions, awesome little baits, and they're cheap. Again, $3.99 per pack for Berkeley Pit Bosses. And the very last thing on this list, we're going to throw in a spinner bait. We don't have a spinner bait yet, and this was another one of my little splurges here. We are a of course, going with the War Eagle spinner baits. You guys know I love War Eagle spinner baits. Um, just something about them, right? Minimalistic, perform well, made well. Just a good spinner bait. So I'm going with the War Eagle spinner bait, seven seventy nine for my spinner bait here. You guys, if you've listened to the show before, you know my favorite pattern that they make is Patriot. But they have all kinds of shad imitations. They've got chartreuses, anything that you could want in a spinner bait color. All right, if you total all of this up, so we have the Gamagatsu EWG worm hooks. Ike approved wacky rig hooks, three eighths ounce tactical tungsten flipping weights, a half ounce football jig, a three eighths ounce flipping jig, peg stops, a Ned head, swim bait heads, a chatter bait, a square bill, a deep diver, a frog, a clacking buzz bait, a popper, a spook, Sankos, trick worms, swim baits, craws, a creature bait and a spinner bait. If you total all of that up, it comes out to $99.79. We squeaked in there by like 21 cents under $100. You can go online right now and make this exact same list and with $100, you can fill a tackle box either with kind of your first really good well-rounded tackle box with everything that you need or just a day box that you can take with you, kind of pick up and go fishing and not worry about packing up your tackle and, you know, uh, oh, what am I taking? What am I packing? What color am I doing? All kinds of stuff. Just have a box ready to go. So there you go. $100, you can go replicate that. Or if you disagree with me, shoot me a message. Go on Instagram or go on Facebook or whatever, at Tackle Talk Podcast or at Hayes Fishing, H-A-Z-E Fishing. Shoot me a message and either tell me if you agree or if I left out anything that's just absolutely you cannot build a tackle box without. There's some stuff in here you can make the argument that like, yes, uh, I didn't have a swim jig in there, right? I don't throw swim jigs a lot. I'm not around grass a whole lot, so I didn't have a swim jig in there. I didn't have a prop bait in there, but I would make the argument that there are things on here that you can substitute for a prop bait, right? You can substitute a buzz bait. Uh, you can substitute a Zara spook a lot of times in the same situations that you're going to be throwing a prop bait. So there's all kinds of stuff. You know, I didn't put horny toads in here or any sort of soft plastic top water, you know, style thing. Um, I didn't put shaky heads on here uh, because I think, again, most situations you can throw a shaky head and a net head in the same situation. Or if you can't throw a net head because there's too many weeds, you can get away with Texas rigging one of those trick worms. So there's all kinds of stuff there. You're right that you, you could have put in, could have not put in little weights to throw on a Nico rig or stuff like that. But when you're really pressed to keep something under $100, you have to make cuts somewhere. So shoot me a message and let me know if you agree or if there's anything I just forgot that you are just, you know, so up in arms about or offended that we need to talk about it. Shoot me a message. But thank you guys for listening. I wanted to make this a information packed, short, concise, sweet episode today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for listening. As always, if you can support us, there's a couple awesome ways that you can. One is leave us a review on Apple Podcasts. That helps a ton. That helps us be found in kind of their algorithm and suggested stuff and things like that. Um, you know, go subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, iHeart, wherever you listen. Go check out our website, www.tackletalkpodcast.com. We are going to have some merch dropping soon. And within the next probably couple weeks, we're going to have a cool way for you guys to get your own Tackle Talk decals and stickers without having to buy anything so I will get some more details on that here pretty soon but I got some stickers and some notes I'm going to be sending out to you guys the listeners just for doing one thing for us so thank you guys as always and we will see you next Tuesday for another brand new episode of Tackle Talk thank you for listening to the Tackle Talk podcast Tackle Talk is produced by Andrew Hayes Copyright 2021. Please subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts.